Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, a couple of cruise lines had to change directions because of some unrest going on currently down in Mexico region. And uh, I got pretty excited when I saw the announcement from Holland America and Disney that they're changing some protocols. And then I read the fine print. Okay, so first off, let's start with the changes coming to protocols from Disney Cruise Line. Disney Cruise Line will now say that for sailings out of Canada and the United States, children 11 years of age or under no longer have to be required to be vaccinated. They still recommend vaccinations, but you no longer are required to be vaccinated. That's a change from the policy from five years and up had to be vaccinated. So it's making it a little easier to get children on board. Now, anyone 12 years old or older still need to be vaccinated. And as far as testing is concerned, you still need to test. If you are vaccinated and you provide proof of vaccination before your cruise, you can test up to two days ahead of time and then just download the proof of your test and then get on the ship. However, if you're unvaccinated or fail to show them proof of vaccination, then you have to test two days before your cruise and test again at the terminal as well. So uh, yeah, right now, I would say Disney is still the strictest cruise line when it comes to testing and vaccination out there um, by far. So let's talk about the, the other cruise line then, Holland America, they made changes as well. Now they, pretty much followed the line of Princess and Carnival, which is really no surprise. Any sailing less than 16 nights, so 15 nights or less, you no longer need to provide a proof uh, of test. You don't have to test ahead of time if you're fully vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, you do still need to provide a test. That goes for all sailings except, of course, for those countries that require it, Canada, Greece, Bermuda, Australia, all still require you to, to test. So it, that's not going to happen <laughs> for, a lot of, uh, for a lot of those cruises, like here in Canada, like my cruise next week. But I got kind of excited with this because I am fully vaccinated and I say, well, I guess I don't have to test for my cruise. Not so fast on, uh, while my cruise is only 15 days, which means it qualifies, there is a subsection in that heading that full Panama Canal transit cruises, as well as trans-ocean cruises, transatlantic, trans-Pacific, doesn't matter, you are still gonna be required to show test. So I still have to schedule a test somehow around my flight and trip to Amsterdam. <sighs> Lots of fun. I got excited there. I may, I might, that might be my first cruise. I don't have to provide a test. And I, I don't think it's going to be now. So unless things change between now and October, we'll see. So that's about it for that good news. And now we got to talk about what's going on with Carnival and um, Royal Caribbean. What happened to two of their ships in Mexico in Ensenada. But before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already really helps the channel out. If you want to keep up to date with all things cruising, like, hey, you may know somebody on the Radiance right now and we're concerned that they're going to a cruise port that just had a big civil unrest. Well, I'll keep you up to date. I'm going to tell you about that story in a few seconds, plus all the protocol changes, plus the new ships, plus the vlogs. Really doesn't cost a thing, but it will keep you up to date with everything you need to know for your cruising experience, including some ways to save some money on your trips, like I'll do when I'm on my Alaska cruise next week. Okay, thank you again for everybody who's already subscribed and those about to do so. All right, now, yeah, people woke up Sunday on August 14th in uh, around the Tijuana area, and it was, you know, blockades, cars burning, as a couple of cartels started duking it out out there. So much so that the um, 
Carnival Radiance and the Navigator of the Seas decided not to go into Ensenada. They canceled the port altogether and they returned back home to Los Angeles. This is a, a safety thing. It, and people were saying, well, look, you know, it's a turmoil over there, bad things, look at that, bad for cruising. And I'm going, you know what? This, to me, this is kind of a good news story in a way that the cruise lines are aware of the situation so quickly and so fast that they react to it, that they were able to divert passengers from any danger happening in the country. Because riots and things like that can happen anywhere in the world. Uh, so at a drop of a hat, things can change and the cruise lines were on top of it and they steered their passengers away from it like they would steer you out of the path of a hurricane. So I kind of think that was a good news story. I think they did a good job there. And uh, Carnival <laughs> even did a, a little bit better. I, I don't know what Royal Caribbean did for their passengers yet, but Carnival, for the guests, they said, you know what? We're sorry we had to skip this port. Here's a $50 onboard credit. And to me, because of this being civil unrest in an emergency situation, I, I would have said, yep, you know what? I don't want to go there with a the machine gun shooting in the streets. So yeah, give me my $50 onboard credit. I'll spend it in the casino and I'll be happy. But they also gave their passengers a 50% future cruise credit as well. Now, these are not expensive cruises. They're three and four day cruises down in that area. But still, hey, I think that was great of Carnival. That's a big step above and beyond to give you know that much. Here's some onboard money. Here's 50% here's back of your cruise, all for something that was completely out of their control and for the safety of their passengers. I don't think there's a passenger on board that said, no, hey, the heck with the FCC, the heck with the onboard credit. I wanna go to the place where they're shooting, please, come on. It's my vacation after all. I don't think anybody was saying that. I really don't. So great job, Carnival, there. Now, as far as upcoming cruises, the military has been brought in. The National Guard is, is over the area now, and we'll see how long this, this unrest lasts. But if it continues, there are other ports that they could visit, like Cabo San Lucas or Puerto Vallarta. So I think they may just go to another port until things said because those are outside of the area and not in any immediate turmoil. So if you have an upcoming cruise on the Carnival Radiance or the Navigator of the Seas, um, you may not go to Ensenada now. You may end up in Cabo or Puerto, San, Puerto Vallarta or another sea day. But hey, at least you know that the cruise lines are looking after you. And hopefully this is something that's short-lived and doesn't last a long, long time. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.